hey what is up guys your boy seventh here back with another video and guys i'm excited i am super duper excited today ign just released 11 new minutes of footage from alan wake 2 granted it was more saga gameplay but from what i've seen i can confirm now that this game is about to be a banger so i'm going to talk about five things five things that i've just seen also i apologize for the mic quality i'm using a different setup but five things that i've seen that i want to touch on about. but the first thing is i was right i was correct and i hope my theory is proven right so the first thing we see is saga walking to a bar and guess who we see we see auntie the janitor from control singing in a bar so control characters are in alan way too oh my god i did a video two weeks ago having a theory where we will meet jesse faden at the end of alan wake 2 and alan wake 2 will lead into control 2 so seeing auntie here just gives more evidence to my theory the fbc will get involved some way somehow because what we've seen at the end of control um with the um, awe dlc so auntie is here that means more control characters got to be here everything is being connected remedies universe is coming together they're even more bold with it they're straight up showing a character from another game so second off i want to talk about is um choices and dialogues so this is nothing new for remedy games remedy games been have choices and dialogues but here it seems that they're they it will really have an impact on the game and which i like i like when my choices or dialogue options have impact on the game and can affect the game certain ways somehow which leads into number three well no actually no let's, let's stay back on number two I'm, I'm going getting ahead of myself the dialogue and ops um choices things actually infect affects the investigation so from time to time we'll have to go to the um the mine place for saga where we do our little investigation we find clues so they're really leaning into this whole detective type of thing which is great by me i'm glad they're mixing it up with this whole survival horror thing so i'm so i'm so you would have to find evidence for certain things put put together clues and i just love that that to me makes it great the game replayable more better and more have more longevity moving on to number three dismemberment and disintegration which also would lead into number four i've noticed for enemies that there's dismemberment here and disintegration while saga was going through the amusement park or coffee world she was shooting at enemies and this leads into my point number four that the enemies are kind of bullet spongy but that when you were firing when she was firing her gun the enemy's clothes would rip off the skin would start showing so this engine is being put to the test they're going all out here and i'm i'm happy that they are so we have dismemberment slash disintegration but number four is pretty much a concern because the enemies do feel a little bit bullet spongy i was like she was putting like five six seven shots into one dude and he wouldn't go down and i'm like mm, this kind of i don't know if they could adjust that maybe five shots the most to drop i understand they're not human you know they're they're taken you know they've been consumed by the dark the dark place but i think a little six to eight shots that's a little too much man that's gonna be burning through our ammo like if this is survival horror i understand you got to choose whether to fight or run but that if you're gonna fight and it's gonna cost a lot of ammo like what's the point of fighting you might as well just run away also the last thing the ui in this game is so damn clean i think they took a page from resident evil 4 remake because the, the menu the inventory system looks damn near similar and which i have no problem with hey games not i will not say straight up copy but they build off one another a, a game company can see what these guys are doing i'll say okay we can do it better change it up a little it's not like straight up copying their homework and stuff like that you know they're adding their own flavor so i do like the ui in the, in the menu and everything just looks good the ambiance is good there was a problem um with the mixing a little like the audio but i it, it says work in progress we still got we got a month to go like a month or and a half to go so they could fix up all these things but the audio was kind of off a lot of reverb and stuff like that um not too much ambiance 
but i if that's what they're going for i don't mind it but i would like to hear you know birds chirping in the background but if the the woods is like a dead place you know they're trying to set a, a certain vibe i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know be upset with it so that's what i mainly wanted to talk about but again back to number one seeing auntie there just proves my theory correct it proves me right and i want to be proven more right i want to see jesse at the end of alan wake 2 because their universe is really starting to connect now things are really getting heated up so you guys let me know i'll let the rest of the video play or you can just go watch it on ign and yeah i'll see you guys next time peace when you get mad you say trust god yelling you should come down from there you should get down from